In this paper, we present a practical method for real-time rendering of scattering effects in participating media. Our model is based on a new explicit compact formula for single scattering from a point source. This formula can be directly implemented as a simple shader in programmable graphics hardware. All the clips in this video were captured live in real time from a machine with an NVIDIA GeForce 6800 graphics card. Note that some artifacts may be observed due to video compression only and are not a limitation of our method. We start by showing a simple scene with three street lamps. Under clear day conditions, these are simply point light sources. The legend on the bottom left of the image indicates the frames per second, while that on the bottom right indicates the density of fog, or scattering coefficient beta of the medium, which is currently zero. As we increase the density of fog, glows appear. Artifacts in the glows and this and subsequent clips are due to video compression. As we decrease beta, the glows become smaller, and as we increase beta, they become larger. Because of the attenuation of light from further sources, the glows become smaller as we move farther away. Our model can also be used to interactively calculate the change in surface shading due to scattering for the first time. Here we show a vase with both diffuse and specular components under clear day conditions. First we see a brightening of dark regions at the bottom as we increase the scattering. Note that our method is fully interactive, allowing light sources, viewpoint, and geometry to all be moved arbitrarily. Here we move the light source seeing the changes in shading. We now decrease beta to return to clear day conditions. As we increase beta again, note the diffusing of specular highlights due to scattering, followed by the dimming of the overall intensity due to attenuation. We have seen the types of effects our model can produce. We now show how these effects can be combined in a scene with complex geometry and four light sources. Again, we start with clear day conditions. Now we increase the scattering coefficient beta of the medium. As we decrease and increase beta, we clearly see effects like the glows around light sources and the change in shading on the vase and pillars. We can also see how the appearance changes as we modify the intensity of individual light sources. Now we show a comparison to the common OpenGL fog model. That model does not capture effects like the glows around light sources or the effects of scattering on surface appearance. We can change our viewpoint and move around the scene interactively. Here we walk through the corridor in real time. So far, we have seen examples with a few point sources. If we assume the light sources are equally far away, we can also apply our technique to complex lighting, allowing many environment mapping methods to be used with participating media for the first time. Here we see a comparison of the clear day environment map with the way it would appear on a foggy day. Note the glows around light sources and the brightening of darker regions due to scattering. Now we render a mirror sphere on the left and a Fong BRDF on the right. As we increase beta, they and the background become foggier. We can change parameters interactively, decreasing and increasing the density of fog. Our approach also allows scattering effects to be applied with pre-computed radiance transfer. Here we see clear day conditions. We now gradually change the medium parameter beta to simulate a more foggy appearance. Now we show a close-up of the plane. Note the softening of the shadows as we flip between scattering and no scattering. We can also simulate the effect of moving further away, increasing the air light or fog between us and the model. In this case, there is a considerable loss in saturation and contrast, so much so that the originally glossy appearance of the Buddha model is essentially lost. 
In summary, our method takes a significant step towards real-time rendering of scattering effects in participating media.